Hey, everybody. Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. There are so many ways you can use the SEO Space plugin to optimize your blog posts. And in this video, I want to show you a little trick that I'm going to implement on my own website to encourage my website visitors to click through to my blog if they land on my homepage. And I'm going to show you how I use the SEO Space plugin to help me. First, you're going to actually need to have the SEO Space plugin installed. And when I select this, you're going to see that I've already scanned this one. So it's showing me my results. Even with the basic scan, I get a lot of information. And one of the key pieces of information I get has to do with links. By reading here, I can learn that internal linking between pages is an important area of SEO. Below are the pages that have high potential to get more traffic from search engines. If you add a link from the body of this page, but not in the header or the footer, to these pages, I can further boost their ranking. These three blog posts are the three blog posts that get the most impressions on my website. So by linking to these blog posts within the context of this blog post, I keep people on my website longer and Google recognizes that. So while I could and should add internal links to these blog posts, I'm also going to use this information to help me optimize my homepage. And I'll show you what I mean. The first thing I'm going to do is locate the three blog posts and go into their settings. So here is one of the posts. I'm selecting these three dots. I'm going to settings, options, and I'm going to select featured post and save. And now I'm going to do this for the other two posts. Now I'm coming over to my home page, and I'm going to just scroll down a bit and I'm going to put this just underneath my testimonials, sort of near the bottom, but not all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to select add section. And I'm just going to add a blank section. The edit section, I'm going to choose the color that I want. Great. Now what I want to do is add a summary block. So I'm going to select add block and choose summary block. I'm going to stretch this out a bit. Now I'm going to edit the summary block. And I need to select a page. So I'm going over to my blog. And I'm going back. And it wants to know what information I actually want to pull in. Personally, I'm not going to pull in any date. You certainly can if you want. And I don't want any secondary metadata either. I am going to filter these items and select featured only. And these are my three most popular blog posts. Now I'm going back and I'm going to select design. And I would like this to appear as a grid. I want three items. I want them to be square. I don't want to show the title because I have the title right in my graphic. And I don't want to show the excerpt either. And then I'm going to size and spacing. I'm going to adjust the column width. I just want to play around with these. And you can adjust the gutter width too if you want. You can even have a background if you want. One. I'm going to add a title. Okay, I've added a background. I've added a heading. And I'm going to select save. And that's it. Pretty easy, huh? I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like. Maybe share it with someone who you think could use some help with this. Consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.